Well, good morning viewers and welcome back to another weekend vlog. Uh, hope your day's going pretty good so far. I'm in San Luis Obispo today for a cyclocross race. The race is going to be today and tomorrow, so uh, I'll be spending the, the night over here. And I'm a little nervous about this race for one simple reason, and that is because uh, I'm racing two classes, again, single speed and the geared, but the races are back to back, so I don't get any break in between, but I figured why not try it out, so uh, that's what I'm doing here today. Just finished with the single speed. Uh, track is terrible. I'm not looking forward to this geared race, but uh, let's see what happens. Well, I'm done with both races now. Uh, that was definitely the worst cyclocross track I have ever ridden. So uh, I just called Bryce Penny. He's going to try and meet me up sometime today to give me my mountain bike to race that tomorrow because I think that would help out a lot on this course. It's so rough. Uh, it's terrible. I mean, honestly, I don't even want to race tomorrow, but my mountain bike would make it a thousand times better. So, that's what I'm, I'm going to try and do for tomorrow. As for the rest of the day, since it's one o'clock now, uh, I'm going to head on over to Pismo. Go try and ride the dunes again. And I think I'm better prepared this time, and should work out a whole lot better than last time. So, let's go! Alright, so here's my little review of uh, riding the dunes at Pismo. Number one, the electric bike was really fun, but the battery died very fast. Normally my top speed on that bike is about 50 miles an hour. I couldn't get going over 30 over here, I guess just because the sand is so thick and uh, it drained the battery really fast. Number two, uh, jumping, very scary. Uh, you can kind of see the sand going by. It's probably about a thousand mile an hour winds, so uh, really hard to do any type of jumping or anything. You really gotta jump pretty much into the, or away from the wind directly, otherwise you just get blown sideways. Uh, the Christini, also known as the two-wheel drive dirt bike, you might have noticed that uh, little video clip of the front wheel spinning. Uh, Really cool how well that works in the sand. Really don't even need the paddle tire at all if you put it in two wheel drive. Uh, the only problem is that it doesn't really want to turn whenever the uh, the front wheel is biting really hard. It kind of just wants to keep going straight. At higher speeds it's not as bad, but uh, at low speeds you really can feel it biting in there. It just wants to keep you standing straight up. Uh, that's pretty much it. The battery is dead on the electric bike. And not quite out of gas on the Christini, but uh, it's getting kind of low. I also still need to go meet Bryce to go get my mountain bike for tomorrow. So uh, I'm gonna start heading back home, I guess. And uh, hope I don't have to drive all the way there.
So I got my mountain bike, met up with Bryce at the uh, James Dean's final stand gas station, and our James Dean's last stand, whatever. And uh, now I'm headed back to San Luis Obispo. Good morning, guys. It's Sunday now, in case you couldn't tell. And uh, I pretty much went straight to bed after I got to the boss's house last night. And uh, now that I'm awake, I'm headed back off to the races for another day of cyclocross fun. Well guys, uh, the mountain bike did not help out at all. Uh, it made it a whole lot smoother, but it was a whole lot slower. So, uh, did not do good at all. And I'm about to head home, I guess, because uh, I'm gonna pack stand for the results. And just like that, I am back in Shafter. Now it's time for the least fun part of the weekend, and that is the unloading the van part. And this is a full one. Well guys, it's not that late, but the sun is going down, and I have this nice sunset view right here. But I am very tired, so I'm gonna head on off to bed, and uh, sorry this weekend was kinda lame. I had fully intended on filming a lot more of the cyclocross race, but the races that were before mine were just kids races, so wouldn't really make that good of footage. I actually also ended up next daying some uh, GoPro mounts for my bike on Wednesday of last week and uh, they never showed up. So that was also kind of a fail as far as videoing. But uh, hopefully next weekend will be a little bit better and I'll see you all then.